Let's talk through our dialing options in Aurum in a section that I personally like to refer to as our control panel. The first piece you'll see here is our phone fields in Aurum. These fields are coming straight from your sales enablement platform or whatever naming convention your organization has for prospect phone numbers. It will be common to see fields like mobile, direct, company, HQ, or maybe even home numbers. My advice to you with phone fields is to give them a double check before your first dialing session. If you click into this white box here and you see any phone fields that aren't necessarily visible, go ahead and bring those into Aurum. I can make phone fields very simple with two helpful tips. The first one is to be as comprehensive as possible. And what I mean by that is before your first dialing session, go ahead and click into this white box. If you see any phone fields that aren't necessarily visible, make sure you can see that green tile in Aurum. This will allow Aurum to dial all possible numbers for prospects, increasing our chances of getting them on the phone. If your org does have a preference not to dial a certain number, whether that be home or any other example, you could also remove these tiles, which will then encourage the dialer not to call those prospect phone numbers. My second tip for you with phone fields is that order matters. I encourage you always prioritize the mobile phone field. This will be important for which order we dial those prospects. Take a look at my tiles here. If I were to switch this mobile phone field, maybe even drag it to the very end of my list, you're going to see for this prospect, those two numbers have switched. Whether I'm power or parallel dialing, I'm still giving myself every opportunity to dial this prospect at both numbers. However, we find the likelihood of a connection increases when we prioritize the mobile number and dial that one with our initial attempt. So always prioritize your mobile phone field. From my dialing options page, I'm also able to view my given call from number as well as my call forwarding number in Aurum. Call from number is what the prospect sees as we're attempting to dial out. If you have a launch package with Aurum, you can add up to five new call from numbers into Aurum in any given month. This monthly allotment will give you the opportunity to increase your call from number count and build a healthy and consistent rotation of numbers that we can leverage to dial prospects. If you have an Ascend package with Aurum, you can add up to 10 new call from numbers per month. This monthly allotment whether you leverage launch or ascend, will replenish on the first of every month. But any of these phone numbers you add in this given month will remain yours until you actively delete them in Aurum. Now let's talk about those call from numbers. I'll use five as an example because that applies to every Aurum user. If it sounds like a lot, it's because it is. We wanna give you the opportunity to add new call from numbers into Aurum maybe every few business days, if not every week, so we can build a healthy and consistent rotation of these call from numbers. We wanna avoid long strings of activity and long strings of dials on a singular call from number. My recommendation is every 100 to 200 dials, we're keeping that number rotation fresh and our rate of connection consistent. It's very easy to add a new call from number into Aurum. All you have to do is click on this plus sign in Aurum, and then you can search by any area code or applicable country code if your organization has international dialing enabled. My favorite part about this is I get to choose the local area code, right? Maybe this morning I want to appear on the East Coast to make some dials. I can easily search that given area code. Aurum will then access its entire arsenal of call history numbers and give me the opportunity to add one of these numbers to my own call from number library. I would simply select on the number I like and then add that to my own Aurum platform. Once you complete this motion, that number belongs to you and you alone. Now you can leverage that when you make your dials to prospects. The great news about Aurum with these call from numbers shows you not only that rate of connection by call from number, but how many dials you've placed on each of these numbers as well. It's very easy to be strategic and mindful 
of how many dials I've placed on each of these numbers so I can keep that rotation consistent. I'll remind you, every 100 to 200 dials, go ahead and switch that number out. Now, I don't want you to churn and burn these numbers either. I want you to use new call from numbers into Orem and keep them in your rotation. So if you use one today, maybe use it again in a few sessions or even in a few days. By returning to these numbers after giving them a rest, we start to build the strength and integrity around these numbers to effectively keep that rate of connection consistent. When you are in fact ready to delete a number from your call from library, simply hit this trash can to the right of the number or will then ask if you're sure and you can immediately delete it from your call from number library. Now let's talk about your call forwarding number. I know upon your first login into Orem, our platform was very quick to ask you this information and it's very important for setup. This call forwarding number needs to be a number individual to you, whether that's your cell or your office line, so we can correctly route those inbound callbacks from prospects to the right place. Setting up your call forwarding number is very easy and you only have to do it once. Simply click on this link to the left of your screen in your dialing options panel and enter in which number, in this instance, I'm going to put in my cell phone that you'd like us to route those inbound callbacks to. As soon as it's added, we're gonna place a quick call to your device so you can simply enter in the six digit code. What you'll see as soon as I get this number updated is my call forwarding number will immediately change. And that took all of 15 seconds. When you do receive an inbound callback into Orem, our dialer will notify you with a pop-up on the top right corner of your page that you are receiving a callback from a prospect. You're able to view their name as well as all other necessary information so you can answer that call in platform and hopefully book that meeting. To ensure you receive notifications for these inbound callbacks, simply access your personal settings by clicking on your initials in the top right corner of the Orem platform. Under the system submenu, you can easily enable these desktop notifications. However, it's important to note there are three places you need to enable desktop notifications. In the Orem platform, on the page you see here, your browser, as well as your computer settings. For more information on these settings, simply leverage our handy support article. Where things get even better with our call from number process is with our newest feature, Boost Connect. This AI feature automatically selects the best call from number for each dial, so you don't need to worry about rotating numbers or stressing about local area codes. Once you have Boost Connect enabled, Whatever number you had selected as your call from number will now serve as your fallback number. Orem will use this number if Boost Connect is enabled to determine a better alternative. From this section in dialing options, you're also able to confirm or check your caller ID reputation. It's very easy to click on this hyperlink and confirm the reputation for the number. Should a number be flagged in Orem, we are going to identify that for you with a bright red exclamation point. From here, it's very easy to delete this number from your call from number library in Orem. One of my favorite features of all time in Orem is our voicemail drop and sequencer. This gives you the ability to pre-record voicemails in Orem and leave them to all prospects, giving you the opportunity to really customize at scale. Our team seriously benefits from the increase of touch points and name recognition while using this feature. With voicemail drop shown here, you can easily select a voicemail for us to leave to the prospects on your report or list. We're only going to leave one voicemail per prospect. So don't worry about leaving duplicate messages to two different numbers for the same individual. Once you access voicemail drop, you can click on this plus sign here and record your voicemail in Orem. My advice, keep it short and sweet. Say your name slowly and clearly, because I know a lot of us are receiving voicemails every day from numbers we don't quite recognize. Whether we're listening to them to see if it merits a follow-up or even using that speech to text on our smartphones 
it's very easy for the prospect to skim that message and know that Katie at Orem is trying to get them on the phone. Another great feature with our voicemails is the voicemail sequencer feature. This is available to individuals who leverage our outreach and our sales loft integration. Where this is going to be the most powerful is being able to customize these voicemails by steps in your sequence or cadence. Orm does a fantastic job at identifying which of those steps in your sequences and cadences are in fact call steps. So you can craft just a few messages per sequence or cadence and allude to future or previous steps. Maybe I wanna record a voicemail and say, hey, Katie with Orem, don't worry about giving me a call back. I'm gonna drop a case study in your inbox this afternoon and see if it's helpful. This is where we can really customize at scale. And I strongly encourage you to leverage this tool.